Disaster Femme. There is no poetry in a flaming world. There is no poetry in historic nightmares. In the raging fire, there is no poetry. Welcome to the future. Yeah, there are no epiphanies. Only long nights and a hollow heat wave that will never matter. I mean, walk on trees, waiting for his salvation that will never come. What did we learn? Did home become better? In the substantive ferocity of the devastation, we lost our names. My mother's green lungs and clear streams. In the case of flash floods and tearful survivors, watch out. All climate refugees are black, as usual. The trunks of mango trees still smolder. There is no spot to play in their tutelages. We are all abandoned, like hive boxes in an empty field. So much kindling on the forest floor. The crisis seemed tragic, and in one unbroken chain. Miles away from home, I still see an opaque wall of haze over the sea. Forest Museum. This journey, like the rest of the world, the white fire swallowed my father's horse farm and gave us carcass to recall home by. The sky glows red and there is no water call the ash raining from our dreams like sinister confetti. Who wants to have their vacation on a scotch ground? Last night, my father stared in horror as the flames headed down the mountainside towards the cathedral. And my mother's mouth absorbed in memory thought of the older children she's leaving behind. Suddenly, there he was, our dog, Jimmy, petrified over the sound of scotch trees and acrid smoke. Everyone wants to tell me how to live correctly. Something created to read from dying hope to beautiful choices. But the necessary path of the earth still lies barren. I mean to say, the circle is unbroken, the ruin refusing to escape its frame. Once in my addiction, I read of a little child. That is me. Listening for the first time the wrath of cyclones. For the first time in the sense of fear. Cyclone Idai, and then a night of strong winds. And I can feel the brazen inside our little livid heart. Where I come from. The future is my father's body, dancing alone in the dark. All the understories smashed for a country, full of smokestacks and dreary sky. Like famine, my sister wilted to half of her size, lies bent reading in the mud brick shack. If it comes to a personal distribution against indifference, I have seen the ocean in our streets and the panic of hope. We can only be refugees, children spilled out of language, with the sludge of broken dams. We are home. What a time it wait in pristine vegetation is now extinct.
climate damages. How horrible and possible it is here. There is no poetry in drought. Yeah, the earth will always be flame. The trees nail to the narrative of a prolonged heat wave. Slow jet stream hanging from the air with the dollar's gum in its trough. The fire season growing even wider on the forest floors down the coast. Do you see dead stocks and a flaming debris raining down on the village? It was reported that not even one firefighting plane was sent. A howl at the pine cones and the beehives that might at any point fall on our heads. Still, under the red glow of an orange sky, and something that someone mumbled, nightmarish summer. In the dark times of climate anxieties, or there also be garlic cloves. In the dark times of climate anxieties, or there also be singing. <laughs>